Hello friends, welcome back to yet another video tutorial in Revit Tips and Tricks. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this video tutorial I am going to teach you yet another method of importing Jali in Revit from SketchUp. So you can call it as a SketchUp method of importing Jali in Revit and you can refer my last video tutorial in which I have told you some other method of importing Jali in Revit so we can refer previous tutorial so today I am going to tell you how we can import from SketchUp so this is a simple wall and if you go to uh, in 3d view you can see this is the wall here and I am going to import a Jali and insert into this wall in Revit from SketchUp so I am going to SketchUp and this is SketchUp Pro 2021 and now after this you are required to go to Windows and then you can select 3D Warehouse from this and after opening 3D Warehouse you can search for Jali and I am going to click Models here and you can get a wide variety of Jali patterns so you can directly use in Revit architecture so I am going to download any Jali here so I am going to download this Jali here this is used in temple architecture you can use in uh, any other also building and you can use in your puja room or temple room so this is just to make you understand so i am going to download this cnc jali pattern so it is asking load this directly into your sketchup model so i am going to click yes so you can see uh, i have downloaded uh, this uh, home jali and i have opened this in with a sketchup and there is another some cabinet is attached here and this is a temple so i need only this jali so i'm going to select this all and i'm going to right click and export this and we'll separate this first and now i'm going to delete this model here and i will select this and move to origin here and now i am going to delete this model also here and after this you are required to save this as a sketch of file and you can save this as a version 8 and you can save to any of your folder so i am going to save it at download folder and after saving i am going to my revit and i am going to level 1 of this wall and i am going to ensure the sketch of jolly and I'm going to select this one import CAD and then uh, you can select files type here a sketch of file you can also select drawing file also so I'm going to select this sketch of file and I'm going to select this Jali here and now I'm going to open this so now the model is uh, imported in Revit so you can select this jali here this is in plan view and you, you are required to unpin this so that you can move this and i am going to move this here to this wall and you can also scale this so if you require to scale you can do it in plan view here and I'm going to place it this Jali here and I'm going to 3D view and I'm going to select this wireframe here and you can see this uh, Om Jali is placed here 
and you can move this to any desired height and you can also scale this from here suppose I want to uh, scale this bit more here you can do this and this scale will be increased here so likewise you can work from a SketchUp model in uh, Revit so now I am going to create a wall opening here according to size of this and I have created one wall opening here and I am going to my realistic mode here so now it is ok and likewise you can do for some other jolly pattern here and you can follow the same process of downloading the jolly you are required to go to window then 3d warehouse and you can search for more jolly pattern here And you can use uh, this kind of jolly in your SketchUp uh, to Revit and some uh, models may have some geometrical issue so that you have to look you are required to save it as a version 8 and then you can select import CAD in Revit and then you can import this SketchUp models of jolly so this is another method and in the next video tutorial i will come with some autocad method of importing jali in revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye